How's it going guys? So today's uh, the 23rd of October. Door's still not hanging, but I do have a frame. The outer of the building is all framed up with uh, two by six as the finishing for the outside. And then I have my railing that holds the door up and over. I'm kind of trapped here. Still can't see it. Anyway, so uh, so that's all finished there. I got maybe not even eight feet overhanging, which I have to tie that together to the building because we now. Have wind catches it the doors open and whatever but um i still have to bolt those hangers up there other than that um she's good <sighs> now I, I leveled off one part of the door that one there i just left it it's off a tiny bit but that's all right this one here all the way to the top let me try to zoom into this you see that there's a, a two by six, another two by six, and then there is a, a sheet of um, five eighths um, plywood, a, a little as a shim. So that's how I had to put another two by six and behind it to uh, to uh, get this door leveled. Um, I didn't have to level it, but it just bugged me because it wasn't uh, it was leaning inwards so here it's flush there I got a two by uh, or a five eighths plywood there I'll go up a little higher it might be a two by six plus or less than two but maybe three three sheets of um, plywood maybe two I'm not sure yet uh, the headers all done um, and that so um, it's all tied in the walls the front walls and the side walls are tied in now the roof line the roof line and all three walls or one two all four or two corners are all tied in so there's no more it doesn't do this no more it doesn't do this no more um, <laughs> it doesn't shift to the left and right it doesn't want to go forward anymore so and I still have to put a strap in you know from one um, joist to another joist and um, good to go but I got this frame built and um, what I did was I was using a bunch of um, 24 of these actually I had 20 and I thought I ordered 24 so they delivered four to me um, just little spikes right so I figured stronger than nails and believe me it is um, and then a bunch of these nails that are made to go through this stuff here uh, Steve gave me a box full and then um, so I did everything all these two uh, studs are 145 inches long all one two three four five six and all six of them are the same length and um, and so as I was going, I had to use a ratchet strap to, uh, to pull it in because uh, I had a big crown on this 2x6. So um, I had to uh, ratchet in and then pull it out. So the crown's gone now. But that's what you do, right? You know, if you're building a house, uh, say you're building your floor, you're not going to have the crown going downwards. You're going to have the, the crown going upwards because uh, it'll eventually, by the time you tie everything down, she'll be uh, good to go. So, But yeah, so that's where I am. And then last night, there, Steve was here for a bit, so we uh, farted around, played around, and um, he mentioned strapping. And um, so that's what we got going on is a crisscross right now. Uh, when I men measured this corner, and this corner was a 218 inches so I was off so I grabbed the stri ratchet strap from there 
to this guy here and I got every corner now is at uh, 214 uh, inches and 1 8 so we're in between the 1 8 and that so it, I can't get it any more square than that so and um, this guy's tighter this you know before we nailed it down give it another good little crank there pulled it in more and then um, we put nails those nails there into each one release the um, ratchet and um, that's what I got but so what I'm going to do now is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to a strap from there to the center of every stud to tie it in more so that's what I'm up to so um, I'll let you guys go for now um, Brenda's calling me so I'll have to I'm going to call her back and then uh, as soon as I get my strap it in my strap it in, my straps on and um, I'll see you guys on the next one Ciao.